Stay tuned. In this video, we're going to make healthy, crunchy rabbit chews. So we'll see you in 15 seconds. So this is your fair warning. In this bowl, I have cut up rabbit, feet, and ears. So if you're squeamish, then you might want to look away or you might want to go ahead and, and check out one of my other videos. But it's important to remember that our dogs are carnivores and so when it comes to feeding Dexter and giving him healthy treats, I'm always looking for the best ingredients. A lot of times, making these things in the home is a lot healthier for Dexter. So, you ready? Abracadabra, maybe look away? <laughs> so, let's start why. I like to use Dexter's treats and shoes as part of his nutritional needs. See a bowl of yummy chews. Let me have them. And if you're feeding your dog a raw fed diet, then you can actually feed these feet and ears raw as well. And you just want to keep them in your freezer until you're ready to feed and then you can either thaw it out or, the, or you can give it to them frozen. For me, and Dexter, Dexter's a gulper, so I do always hold the item while Dexter's chewing. So lucky me, I get to hold raw rabbit ears or raw rabbit feet. When I dehydrate them, at least they're not raw, so it's not quite as gross, but everything's about Dexter down there. So I do do both. I do raw and I do dehydrated. I just kind of like to have a, a variety. I'm sure it has different, te different textures and tastes to Dexter as well. You do want to, of course, supervise your dog because anything can be a hazard to your dog. This could be a choking hazard if he tries to gulp it down. We want to make sure that he's crunching up the bones in here. They also have fur, so our feet here and ears do have fur, so that's a good source of fiber, but too much can cause blockage. So you want to go slow. So Dexter is, you know, an almost 30 pound cavalier, tall, long, and lean. So I, when I rotate these in, he usually gets a foot or a ear. Um, if it's a big foot like this, I might actually only allow him to have half, and then I put the other part back into the freezer for another day. And this would be something that you can, again, count as part of the, his nutrition. Feet have glucosamine and chondroitin, so it's good for those joints. Because of the bone inside the feet, they also have calcium. When your dog chews, it's also going to help break up that extra tartar and help keep those teeth nice and clean. Because they do have bones, we're going to keep the dehydrator at a lower temperature at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to make sure that when we're dehydrating these bones, that we're doing it at a low temperature so that they don't become brittle. That'll help prevent them from becoming brittle. So, easy cheesy, we're going to fill our trays with our bunny parts. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to split up my tray. I think I have more feet than ears. So I'm going to go ahead and try to split up our tray between feet and ears. And they're all different sizes. Now when you're dehydrating, unlike when you're cooking in the oven, you're not going to burn them. So you can't dehydrate too long. They're just going to remove that moisture in there. And the dehydrating is going to slowly process it, so then it actually is no longer raw. So when you see um, foods that are dog food that says dehydrated raw, it's probably a, a whole, it's so much better than a kibble. But once it's dehydrated, it's no longer raw. If you can leave that ingredient out on your counter and it's not going to spoil, then it's not raw. Now, on the other hand, if I leave these like this on my counter, it's going to spoil because it's raw. Dehydrating the product is a nice way to help keep that nutrition. It's not quite the same as raw. And there's little bits down here that are left over. So what I'll end, and they're pretty small. And I'm going to incorporate those into Dexter's food today. So he's going to get a little boost um, of some bunny ears in there. So that'll be an, a nice little fiber boost. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and set it up in the dehydrator, set it at 145 degrees Fahrenheit, and check them in 24 hours and see where we're at. Um, I may have to do them longer, so we'll see. So in the magic of YouTube, abracadabra, poof. Success. So it took about 30 hours, and after 30 hours, we have nice, dehydrated and crunchy rabbit feet 
and rabbit ears. So I think it's a hit. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in a container, put them in the freezer, and serve as needed. But you want to see? Let's go see what Dexter thinks of a bunny ear. All right. Let's see if the monkey likes his bunny ear. That crunch. <laughs> that was a good shoe, monkey. <laughs> good job, choo choo choo. If you think your dog would enjoy these chews, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when a new video is released. Until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Did you chew every last bit? I think it was a success.